lot of times you just have to experiment with these things and just see what, what you can come up with and then figure out how it works later. My name is Justin Milland and I'm a film composer. We're in uh, Los Angeles in the Eagle Rock neighborhood and we are in my film composing studio. When I was doing Darknet, when we got around to season two of that, they called and they said, well, this next season we want to go even more weird, even more electronic, even more experimental. And that's actually when I started buying modular gear. Once they said that, I'm like, wow, okay, now I need to go shopping. The Buchla type sound is my favorite. And so I uh, eventually got this oscillator, which is the, um, it's a clone of a 259R. And th this thing sounds amazing. And, um, you know, and I like Verbos's riff on it. So this is another complex oscillator that I have. And then even a, a music easel, which is kind of a sweeter, more musical version of this sound. Um, and it's also really, really fast for getting it up if you want to listen to, so if you want to start working with it right away. Um, I mean, this is, this should be, yeah, it's just going. So I'm making a drone on this right now. So it's like a C, right? Then I'll play a C on the two voice and you'll hear the bottom come, come into it. And here, so let me play even an octave lower. And then when I record this, I will be, you know, riding the, the levels of it and, and riding the amount of modulation so that it feels like it's breathing. Theravox, we'll put it through a giant reverb, and then see what we can do. So that always sounds really cool and then but then I also like to put square waves on it run the send out to a delay a reverb pedal and then run that out into a distortion pedal which is kind of that sounds pretty great and one cool thing that happens when I do that is if you play a single note you just get a little little hair on it and then if you play two notes though, the distortion circuit starts to overload. So here's one note. And you get this really cool kind of distortion, depending on what kind of pedal you're using, that'll be different. and the foot pedal and like being able to control how much gain you put on the signal makes it so that this is probably the most alive synth that I have and the, the thing that's the most responsive to my uh, individual expression.
Sound okay? Yeah. Sounds you approve? <laughs> <laughs> this is the Krumar orchestrator, which is a 70s um, synthesizer. I have a volume pedal so I can swell up because it doesn't have an envelope on the string sound, so you have to use your foot. I, I use this on its own, by itself. I blend it with, uh, with orchestral strings. Uh, it, it's actually, it's really useful in so many ways. There's even, I think if we can get the brass sound up on it, the brass has, has a Moog filter. This is the brass filter section, which has its own dedicated pedal. 